Hello and welcome by this video tutorial from 2D Data Recording. In this video I'm going to explain you how to organize your data very well when you're using the professional software from 2D, like a full license for example. In order to be able to quickly find the data that you're looking for, it is important to organize how you store it on your computer. And our software helps you to create your own library to find your data. This is the structure that we are looking for. This is the way we organize our data on our computer. As you can see, when we installed the software from 2D, on the C drive, there was a folder with race called race data and installed, and that was basically all. So from race data, this user did make different maps for every year. Inside each map, he has other submaps. In this case, 2016, he has some other events, and he has one folder that leads to Moto2GP. Inside that folder, he has given names and numbers to all the GPs and all the tests that he did. So this is a good example of a very clear overview how to organize your data. If we go one step deeper, in this example, we open the GP1 Qatar, see what is inside there. So we have the data from 2D, obviously this is the data from 2D, but in the same folder he has also stored some ECU settings, quick shifter settings, uh, SASHI program, and even bike setup in it. Inside the folder of this GP, he has all the sessions. Session number one, three one, Riders initials, riders number, outing one. Three one, riders initial, rider number, outing two. And then we went to three two, three three, and so forth, and et cetera. So this is basically the whole race weekend as far as data goes. And this is something that I, one thing we need to do, but that's only one time in the beginning of the year, is to give a name to the data recorder on the bike. Because this name will become a part of the name of the data file after downloading. The name that we give to the data logger is usually always the initials of your rider's name, sometimes also including his starting number. When you connect your computer to the data recorder, it is here where you can change the name of the logger. For example, PR46, just to name someone. But in the 2D software, this is where we create an event. Creating an event also includes a couple of decisions to make. First of all, whether it's closed circuit or it's not closed. Usually in our case, it's all closed unless you're on a hill climbing event. And in this act, we are going to create an event. And as an example, we say, assume we go to Valencia for a two day test. So we have to choose the track first. Then I write down Valencia until I have this track Valencia. This is the official track length. Next thing to choose from is which one is the source? Well, what is the reference event? This has to do with some of the settings that you want to bring from one event to the other as far as data recording goes. Now, this user here in this example, it's 2016 in his uh, folder. In 2016, he has done this user a couple of events and he has made a folder, this is called Moto2GP, where he has already made folders for all the GPs that are coming up and all the tests that he already did. Now in this case, we assume that we're going to another test. Like I said, that's gonna be test number six because five is the last time he went on a test, test number six in Valencia. So this is the good reference. The last time the bike was collecting data. Okay, we call it test six Valencia dot 20 because by now it's 2020. And here we have to make a decision where we want to put the data. And in this case, usually you go to the Moto2GP folder, then it will create a new folder with this name, Test6 Valencia, and put it under T5. Okay, here we are, create this event. And you've seen that what we just did is T6 Valencia 20, in the folder race data 2016 inside the subfolder Moto2GP where all the GPs and the tests are. This is the event that we just created. The next thing we do before we start writing and collecting data is choose the name of the session, like day one, qualifying, free practice one, whatever. This is where we set the name of the next session that we are about to download data from. 
And these names here are just proposals, like suggestions from 2D. For example, in a GP weekend, the first thing you have in the weekend is free practice one. Each underscore will be automatically be replaced after downloading by the name of your data logger, which is the name of your rider. Behind it will be 01. If you download two times during free practice one, the next download will be 02. And with these names here, we can go through the whole weekend. But you're free to change them at will. You can change the words at will. Just don't change the amount of underscores. They have to be the same as the name of your data logger. If you're lazy, just put it on date because the word date will be automatically be replaced by the date from your laptop computer. Now, if you made a mistake and end up with a data file with the wrong name, you can change the name of your data file using the 2D software. Don't use Windows Explorer and change it by hand because then the software will be confused and can't find your data. To change the name of a data file, you go here and after highlighting the data file, for example, we want this is probably a wrong name in our example. You highlight it with a left mouse click, we go to file. Here we can copy it in case it's a very good lab and you want to use it as a reference for the next day. You can delete it and you can rename. So remember that to organize your data, first you change the name of the data logger into the initials of your rider. Then you create an event using our software before the actual event started. And before you start downloading, you choose in the drop down menu the name of the session that is about to start. Now, if you did all these steps, you will always be able to quickly find the data you're looking for.